Saturday morning. Just going for a coffee, I've trained some clients, done my cardio. Now, interesting day today because I've got to try and fit in a curry tonight for dinner. Going for a curry because I lost a bet to a client and I bet that I'd get him a curry if I lost. So, that's happening. So yeah, I'll vlog that all today for you. Ideally, I'd be smashing in the works, you know, naan bread, poppadoms, all that nice sauce. But, Magaluf's like nine days away, so I'm not gonna do that. But, I am still gonna go for a curry, because I'm a man of my word, and I'm gonna make it fit my calories for the day. I hit protein and calories, might go over on the fats, but YOLO. So, super busy today, just had my pre-workout meal, gonna go train legs, and tonight I'm going for an Indian with one of my clients, because I lost a bet last year on the Football Dream team, I've owed him a curry for a long time. We're going for one tonight. He actually owes him one back because I beat him this year. But yeah, we're going to go for a curry tonight. And trying to fit that into my macros has been fucking hard today. So I've had to eat hardly anything all day. I've saved about a thousand calories for tonight, but it'll be fine. I, I hope I can fit it into a thousand calories. No idea how I'm going to track it, but we'll give it a good guesstimate. And when you have things like this one, guys, just you have to make a guesstimate. You have to save calories. You have to change up your, your plan for the day. Training legs when I haven't eaten that much isn't really ideal, but it is what it is. I'll go in there, I'll do my best. I'll go tonight, I'll enjoy my curry, and tomorrow we'll go again, we'll start fresh, and tomorrow will be a much easier day to get macros on point. And one meal isn't gonna make a difference, guys, but if you fuck up the whole day because of it and don't train because you think, oh, I'm going for a curry, then that is gonna make a difference to your week. Whereas I'm still gonna push hard this week, today I mean. And I'm gonna push hard in my leg session, pull back in calories in the day, and I'll make tonight work. And yeah, I'm gonna show you a picture of my food later, putting it a korma or a masala. I'm not like a spicy eater. Even though I've just had six weeks in Asia, I still can't hack it. But yeah, we'll see. I might go something a little spicier just to get a bit of a sweat on, you know? But I'm not asking to burn any more calories, is it? I don't know. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next clip. The last thing you want when you've had pre-workout. Fuck's sake. two minutes however I would recommend listening to it again because it is golden if you're not getting results in a minute. Here is a really short video on why I can get results eating chip sticks, monster munch, jaffa cakes, all these things that you wouldn't typically see in a personal trainer's diet or a healthy person's diet. I can eat them on a daily basis and get results. Not because I'm a freak but because I simply do these two things. Okay so my Exercise program is progressive. So I'm going through progressive training plus consistent eating. That's what gets me my results. So here's what I mean. In the gym, I've got a program that I follow on a weekly basis, right? You can even follow the same program as me if you want. It's on my website, it's absolutely free. jackwilliamsfitness.co.uk forward slash training and there's four free programs there. All of them are one week programs that you can follow and be progressive with. So I literally use this logbook, which one of my clients bought for me for when I went traveling but I didn't use it because I was too busy gazing at sunsets and posting on Instagram. But yeah, I logged down everything I do, all my sessions, and then on a weekly basis, I return to that previous session and I aim to beat it. Whether that's more reps, more weight, or whatever form of progressive overload I can use within that session, I'll do it. This is called progressive overload. This is what, it's like the, the Ben and Jerry's of the ice cream world when it comes to fitness. It's the best way to ensure you keep making progress in the gym. Back to the board. Now, how to make my diet consistent. I can eat them things and they fit into here. Here's my macros and calories on, this, on the bottom corner of this, of this whiteboard. So there's my calories, it's rubbing out a little bit. 2,400 calories per day is what I eat. And there's my macronutrients. They are the same every day consistently. There might be a few grams out here and there, but my main priority is to ensure my calories and my protein are hit every single day. And they're regulated. Whether I'm out on the piss with the lads, or I'm eating Monster Munch, they're still regulated, they still fit my caloric needs. I'm not eating them and going over. This is the important thing to remember. And the principle that I follow by is this one here, 80-20. So 80% of my diet is single ingredient, healthy foods. And 20% are your chipsticks and your packets of crisps and things you wouldn't normally see in a diet. But they all still fit 
in these important numbers on the on this bottom corner of my whiteboard. And now your numbers will be different to mine, but as long as you can follow these main principles and you're progressive with your training and you're consistent with your eating based on the calories that you need to eat per day to get you to your goal, you will see fantastic results. Trust me. Can't see a bloody thing because the sun's shining, but draw no one way to accelerate your fat loss without him going to the gym. Get outside and move more. Bloody lovely out here. So I just had a client come to me in session, so I thought, you know what, in an hour, I can get the south soon back, get some steps in, and go enjoy myself in the hot sunshine. The fat burning machine, mate. So people always ask, like, oh, what's the best exercise to lose body fat, Jack? Just increase your expenditure, mate. Go for a nice walk. If you, for example, if I'm doing 6,000 steps per day, right, and I start doing 10,000 steps per day, look at these wrinkles, it's bad, isn't it? All of a sudden, you're burning more calories. More calories means energy deficit, that means weight loss. It's that simple. You don't need to worry about this, the, the latest great exercise to burn belly fat. It's literally an energy deficit. Burn more calories than you eat and you lose weight. Simple. However, it won't work if it means going to a beer garden and smashing in three Goffbergs and a barbecue because then you're eating more calories and you're burning off again, aren't you? It's lovely down here though, isn't it? Do you know I think I'm still in Australia? But yeah, if fat loss is your goal, here's two things I want you to invest in, okay? Number one, Fitbit. Don't get this bulky one, get a little nice one. Track your steps. And number two, you don't even need to pay for it, it's my fitness pal. Start tracking your calories. All of a sudden, you're tracking your expenditure and you're tracking your what you take in on a daily basis. Then you can manipulate things and then you can get an energy deficit and that equals fat loss. And all of a sudden you're losing loads of weight and all you spend is about 80 quid on the Fitbit and you're tracking your food every day. That's that's as simple as it gets, but people don't seem to overcomplicate things. And if you add training in as well, you're gonna your results are just gonna be incredible. It's that easy. And my last little rant while I'm sat here is stop worrying about what supplements you buy. It's like when you, you're gonna need to get you're gonna, say you're gonna build a house, right? Now I have no idea what I'm talking about when I say building houses because I can't I can't even build like an Ikea, I don't know, chest of drawers. But when you build a house, right, you need bricks. Bricks and mortar, whatever it's called. I oh, know, obviously, top, top bricky. But if you've got someone saying, before I even put the bricks down in the cement, I know what colour I'm going to have my tiles in the kitchen, this is what where people go wrong. You've got to fucking build it first, mate. So you need to get in the gym, you need to start your training, you need to start tracking your calories, you need to start tracking your expenditure. And then once you've mastered those three, then you can look at, look at maybe a protein powder or a caffeine pre-workout that's going to help you get up in the morning. That, that's when you start implementing supplements. But don't waste your money on any of them things until you're mastering the basics, which on their own are going to give you the results that you want anyway. The supplement is just going to be a nice little placebo to motivate you potentially to do more. But really, you don't need them, mate. I've got no idea why I'm referring to you as mate. YouTube, you lot, you are my mates. That's why. From now on, I'm gonna call you lot mate. Lord, yep, I lied. I'm gonna do another video. I'm um, gonna get home about 8:30 tonight, so I don't really want a food prep. So tomorrow, to make things a bit more interesting, I'm gonna literally just buy food on the go. So people who don't like prepping and have, don't have time to prep, your excuse is gonna mean shit, mate. Because tomorrow I'm gonna show you how you can hit your macros and your calories without prepping a single meal. It does help that I work next to Tesco, but there's always a supermarket nearby and you can make it work too. And I'm gonna to show you tomorrow how to make it work without a symbol, a symbol, a single box of Tupperware. It's just gonna be on the go, nice, easy and simple. And I'll show you that tomorrow. So this will go into this vlog. Come on, I'm sweating. Just love my food for the day on this little walk and I've had like 800 grams of chicken today. Plus two chickens on a stick. So I've basically eaten about four chickens today. Some days I'll go through stages where I'm having loads of variety in my diet. Other days I'll just eat the same thing all over time, all over again. It's whatever works for you, I guess. That's how you need to approach it with your diet. Don't worry about variety. Don't worry about anything. Just worry about what feels good for you and results. Because that's what's important and that's what's going to keep you motivated, just to keep following your diet. So, the number one driving factor in compliance in the diet is adherence. So, you need to make sure you can stick to your fucking diet in the first place. So today, for me, I've been so busy with work 
that it's been all about practicality. So I've had my meals in the fridge and they're all I've eaten. So I started work at quarter to six this morning. So at quarter past five this morning, I was eating chicken and rice just because I couldn't be bothered to wake up early and cook some food. So I just had chicken and rice. I've had that like three times today. And now then chicken noodles. So we check my wife at this pal out. It looks horrendous, but it's practical. I'm too busy to care and I'm sticking to my diet so I feel good and I'm happy about it. So yeah, get it done, mate. 5am and I need these my neck has seized the fuck up not what I wanted look at that miserable face now I won't have any breakfast but apparently on the back it says I need to eat if I'm going to take some of these so I'm going to have an apple and then go to work and train my fight this morning they're going to get a good mooded jacket they? look at the state of my hair I'm getting it cut today so I'm not put any hair gel on it on purpose and it looks fucking horrendous but yeah morning clients done i'm going to pop home now i was going to get, go to tesco and get some food but i've only gone and forgot my wallet enough so i have got a meal in the fridge so i kind of lied i'm going to eat that but then from there i'm just going to eat on the go today so yeah see you in the next clip bad hairdo hidden look at this big guy look at that bulge I don't know what happened to it, mind you. So this is my fridge at the minute. It's not looking good, I'll be honest with you. Pepsi Max, protein sheet, which I'm gonna have a little bit of now. Chicken breast, ready to cook up. Some eggs, is it, is that a, some pepper. That's one of Elle's meals. I don't know what she's got there. Some more Pepsi Max, bread that's probably out of date. Ours, cucumber and fruit and bits and it's some spinach. And that's it. I need to go to the supermarket big time. So you're probably a little bit surprised. You probably thought Jack's so well organized with his diet. So here we have my first proper meal of the day. There's some chicken, rice, broccoli, protein cheese melted on top and a little bit of barbecue sauce because that's got to go on there. Just been to Tesco's and I've been to Tesco's and I'm going to show you what I've got. But so this on the go business is practical, it's easy, but it costs way more money. So I just spent like 16 quid. I've got a few extra bits as well, obviously, but the cost that will rack up over the week way more than if you prep food. So that's a warning, but yeah, I'll show you what I've got. So that's what I've got. Krispy Kreme donut, chicken chow mein from Tesco's. The macros on here are pretty decent. So that's per 100 grams, times that by four, so it's like five, it's about 600 calories, 500 calories in that. Um, chicken fillets, again, the macros on here are awesome. So there's hardly any fat in them at all. Um, so there's like six grams of fat, 36, 37, 38 grams of protein. Uh, actually, no, my mash is terrible today. 35 grams of protein and about 15 carbs. These beef fajitas are good. Where is it? There it is. Look, 2.6 grams of fat and 36 grams of protein in that bag. So I'm gonna have that with this pilau rice now for my meal. And I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic nando sauce on top. Also got a lemon and herb nando sauce, some onions, mushrooms, and some bananas. So that's for later, I'm gonna make a nice dinner. But these are for my meals while I'm at work this afternoon. Perfect, I'm gonna eat that now and I have that right after. Now how is that for a lunch? Tasty is what you want if you ask me. Okay, so here we are in the work staff room. That haircut, I'm very much younger, aren't I? Here is, and here is my work lunch. Nice little chicken chow mein, not too bad that, from Tesco. I think it was about £3.50. Yeah, gonna get this down and let you know what it tastes like. It's actually pretty decent, you know? Not bad. People think if you eat like ready meals, then they're unhealthy, but yeah, if you're having Rusters burgers, then no shit, but this ain't too bad. The macros are pretty good, the calories aren't too bad. Yeah, and the reason why you can't eat this and lose body fat and get in better shape. Yeah, decent. Tesco's. Cheers, mate. Here's dinner. Back to homemade food and a couple of meals made for tomorrow. Not enough veg, not good enough for me. I'll work on that definitely for next week. 
Hope that was enjoyable, guys. I'm going to finish off this vlog tomorrow in style. So, this morning, I woke up at, well, I had a client at 5 a.m., so I was up at like quarter past four. I'm not going to lie, it's half 12 and I'm flagging. So, I'm home this afternoon, I'm back to work at four until 10 p.m., so it's a long old day. I'm going to have a nap in a minute, but I wanted to finish off this vlog on a little talk on goal setting. So, I was going to do this the other day when I was walking back from South Sea, if you remember or not, but my phone battery is really low and I was so pumped about talking about goal setting, so I thought I'll save it for. Well, I've next got a minute in front, of the, in front of my phone and I'll just talk about it. So, I was pumped then. I'm gonna try and, I've had a little bit of caffeine. This, these are what get me through the day half the time. No more than one a day though. Try and limit it to one a day. So yeah, goal setting. Now most goals never fucking work. So we set these goals and let's be honest, we don't really hit many of them, do we? So January New Year's resolution, everyone sets a new goal. It's now June, They're, that's history, like, that's not gonna happen, is it really? So, and this is why, so, we set goals that don't really mean anything. So, I wanna get in shape this year, or I wanna get fit this year, why? Why do you wanna get in shape this year? Is it, is it gonna make any difference to you, really? So, here's an example. One of my mates, cause I'm going to Magaluf next Friday. One of my mates just come with me, he said to me, do you know what, Jack, I'm gonna, I want to get in shape with you, let's do it together and I'll come train, I'll do all this stuff, I'll eat well, tell me what to eat, tell me how to train and I'll do it. I'm really up for it. He was on the phone to me, he's really excited, I said, okay, we'll see, because he said this to me loads of times before. And in this last two and a half weeks, he's been to the gym once. He's eating badly, just because other things have come up and all of a sudden, this because it isn't important to him, it's gone down the radar of his priorities. And this happens to everyone. Do you know what? Here's what I want you to do. This book, The 12 Week Year, it changed the game for me when it comes to goal setting. So I read this last year, and now I know I don't really seem like the guy, kind of guy who reads books, but I went to university, hated studying, hated doing any reading at all. Then I got, I finished university, I was supposed to become a PE teacher, right? But I couldn't face another year at uni because I hated reading so much. So I then became a PT, and I started, diving into how to become more successful at what, what, what I do and people have done a lot of reading who were better than me so I thought maybe I'll start reading so I read books on self-development on physiology and nutrition and anatomy all of these books to try and become better at what I could do what I do and I also started reading on marketing and selling and over the last two years my goal was I set a goal to read a book every two weeks so I was reading two books a month and I also had I've got an app on my phone called Audible and I was listening to a book every two weeks so I was, then giving, I was basically getting through four books a week for two years so the last two years I've done that so that's like almost a hundred books that I've got through in the last two years so it might not look like I read much but I, I try and I'm falling behind a little bit at the moment where I'm so busy with work but this is a book that I would definitely recommend when it comes to goal setting so basically we're in this basically we all basically set one year goal so in January we set a year goal and by the time it gets to April we've already forgotten about that goal anyway We've still got eight months to work towards it anyway because it's still eight months away and it never comes to we never get there whereas this is all about intensity 12 weeks set a goal a big goal and every single day you've got to work towards that 12 week goal so it's three months so i read this last year then i did a competition so i did uh not your day prep for the men's seat competition because i this inspired me to do that um this year the same thing happened. So in January I went away for 12 weeks. That was my goal. So for 12 weeks before the, the holiday, I, I spent 12 weeks saving for the holiday. And I, my goals are base, basically broken up into three months at a time. So over the space of a year, I've got four blocks in which I set my goals. So this is a good way you can in, incorporate that into your, your goal setting, whether it's with your fitness, whether it's with your, your work life, whatever goals you're trying to work towards, or buying a house like I'm trying to, or getting the, the net, a nice car, like whatever you're working towards, break it down into shorter term goals and just reverse engineer from the 12 week point rather than from a year point. So, what I mean by that is set a 12 week goal, then that break that down into monthly goals, break that monthly goal down into weekly goals, break them weekly goals down into daily goals, and all of a sudden you've got 90 days in, in 12 weeks that you can work towards every single day to ensure you get to your goal. Therefore, that, now, then you've got intensity, and you've got scarcity, and you've got, if you miss out on the day, you miss out on the opportunity to get to that end point. So, 
when, it, when, it, when there's less days, there's less opportunities and more opportunities to be the fuck up. So, yeah, I'm almost out of breath talking about that. I did run up and down the stairs to get this book. Um, this would be a game changer. Rather than me going on about goals and why you're failing with them, read this book. Um, you can get it on Audible so you can listen to it. I like to do that because obviously sometimes I fall asleep reading books, so I like to listen to them while I'm driving or while I'm doing cardio or walking or whatever. Um, yeah. That there's if you guys want to know any books, just just message me and I can guide you in the direction of books when it comes to either training or diet or mindset. So obviously I read so many mindset books because all the diet and training knowledge and tips are great but if you can't if you can't actually have the mindset to go and actually fucking get them done and consistently make it happen then you aren't going to get the results that you can possibly get from that training like technique or that diet potentially it isn't going to work because you haven't got the stability mentally to actually continuously get that shit done so yeah invest in your mindset as much as you invest in your training and your diet and I guarantee your results will go through the roof this year and set 12 week goals rather than 12 month ones and I guarantee again you'll achieve more in the next 12 weeks than you did in the whole of last year just because of intensity and the way this shit works it fucking works so do it and I hope this little last rant on the video has helped sorry it was a little bit long thank you so much for watching as always don't forget to subscribe please hit the thumbs up button and I will see you in the next clip enjoy the rest of your week cheers guys